right. Good morning. And day two. Only got a couple hours yesterday into the build and only got so far, but progress is made. Um where to start? I did get the uh Z axi motors on, both of them. I will note, just because they do in the video, that you do want to make sure that your plugs face out. It's probably for easy access. And little diagonal cross braces they got on here uh, would interfere with that anyway. And to have them sticking out the back would be a real challenge to actually plug things in. So definitely make sure that they come out the front. I did use the screws that they recommended. I hope you can see this. To hold the ramps and uh, Arduino board on. I really don't like how far these stick into where the build surface is. So I will certainly be cutting those down at some point, um, provided I didn't use the wrong ones, but I'm 99.5% positive that these are the ones I wanted you to use. I'm also not thrilled that the uh, the board sits right on the acrylic. I think there would be some kind of buffer or something, but acrylic's not conductive, so I guess it's not a big deal. Um, speaking of the Arduino board, uh, it looks just like a real Arduino Mega 2560. Even says it's made in uh, Italy. However, I find that hard to believe. I'm pretty positive everything that came out of this box, short of maybe the 3D printed parts, was made in China. So, it looks great, fits alright. Uh, I had to do a slight, slight bend of the pins. The ramps kit was just a hair wider and put ever so slight of an angle on the pins that connect from the ramps to the Arduino, but no big deal. Um, regarding the power supply, I, I did say that I had to drill out some holes um, for the power supply, which is good, and they do line up but I don't have the screws to attach to the power supply. Going back and referencing the uh, the videos more, I think it's kind of funny that they say drill a hole for yourself for one of the other mounting holes, but they were referring to these portions, these holes here. I drilled for these holes here. These, these four larger ones, I suppose you could use the middle one too, are the actual mounting holes. These four in the corners here, the ones that they're encouraging you to use, are really the mounting studs to hold the circuit boards inside. Uh, yes, the screws that they provided would fit you know, these, but they are so shallow, I wouldn't really want to screw into that, because there's only like maybe one, one rotation of threads that would grab. Uh, these are the mounting holes that you should use. Uh, there certainly is plenty of room to drill the holes for for these mounting holes, but um, and it might be the manufacturer of the power supply. These are tapped at a uh, a different size than these extreme corners, so I'll have to go down to the hardware store. They are metric. Surprise, surprise. Again, China. Um, so in the meantime, I think I'll probably just keep this unattached from the uh, from the frame but I don't think that's going to really affect anything and ultimately when I do get to the hardware store I'll buy a couple of screws that will go through here and here into here and here and I'll feel more comfortable about that um, certainly want to get the right length there is a uh, an insulator sheet of plastic in between but you don't want to go too far with those screws and start burying it into the circuit board of the power supply that would be bad um, up next, I'm going to start measuring, marking, and cutting my uh, rods and try to start assembling the rest of the frame here. Um, so I'll get back to you on that, and I will do you guys the favor of doing the millimeter to inch conversion for you because I don't have a real accurate millimeter tape measure. So Google will be my friend for some conversions to uh, standard measurements. I'll cut them and I'll get back to you. All right.